This is Team 323Z's chain bar tutorial and also how to build a chain bar using Lego Mindstorm pieces. <clears throat> so first off, you will need to build some sort of tower. What I have here is just, uh, just one single bar coming up that's going to act as a tower and this right here is just, uh, just for support so it doesn't fall over. The next thing you'll need is an axle. So you can zoom, I'm going to use this as an axle. And then, most likely, if you're in the VRC competition, you'll want to point at the highest point at your robot so you can get the most height. So I'm just going to stick at the top. And then I'll need one of these spacers, or if you're in the VRC competition, um, axle collars. So I'm going to stick that on the end, like that. And if you're building a chain bar, um, one important thing to remember is that the top axle cannot spin freely. It has to be fixed at a certain point. So um, I kind of came up with a little something to hold it there. So I'm getting a bracket, one of these, and then a connecting piece. So you can get on there. I'm going to stick it on. And then I'm going to grab this. There's a little hole right there that I'll slip the axle into, like this. And then I'm going to stick two connecting pieces, two of these onto the holes right here. Then I'm going to grab an L bracket, a small one, and stick it on so it'll hold it together. Like that. So now the axle is fixed and it does not move. The next part, I'm going to add another spacer um, just so the chain does not hit the tower. So I'm going to push that in. Then you're going to stick your sprocket in. Um, the sprocket is for the VRC competition for the high strength. Um, you have a range of 6 to 30 teeth sprockets. So um, I'm going to slip that sprocket in. And then I'm going to add another spacer just so it doesn't catch on the chain. And then you're going to stick your arm bar. I just have a, long, a longer uh, bar. Uh, most most of the teams in the VRC competition use a long C channel, um, so I'm just going to sl slip that on, and then you grab your gear, whatever, stick one of uh, these things in the middle, and then it's important to note that if you're going to be using high strength gears for the VRC competition, that you will need to put the circular insert so the gear can spin freely around the axle. It cannot um, have the square insert or it'll, it won't work. So I'm just going to stick it through a small hole here. See the circular hole? I'm going to attach the gear. The gear attaches to the arm itself, but does not attach to the uh, axle. So it needs to just kind of spin freely around the axle. See, the axle still does not move. The next part, I'm just going to add another spacer or axle collar to the end. Just so it is held in. I'm actually going to use a small spacer like that. So we've basically got the top part of our robot done. Okay? The axle does not spin. It's just the arm and the gear that spins. So the next part is going to be the hopper or intake um, point. So you'll need. I'm going to stick the axle in first, another axle, another axle collar or um, spacer. Then you're going to stick a large spacer onto the axle on the other side of the arm. And then you're going to stick your sprocket. Once you get that, you're going to stick another spacer just so the chain does not catch on anything. And then you're going to um, add one of these. These attach to the this part right here, so the arm or the intake hopper area stays the same angle it is all the way up and down. So need one of these connecting points. Stick it in the the circular hole, then attach that to the arm right there or the intake hopper area. Then you're going to stick that on the axle. So it's like that. So now the axle spins like that. One thing to point out if you're building a chain bar is the um, axle at the bottom needs to spin freely around the um, pivot point down here. 
but also the axle needs to be fixed to the arm. So your um, sprocket at the bottom needs to be fixed to your armor hopper area. So right here. So I've done that. Now I'm going to stick one more spacer or axle collar on the end right there. And now we need to add the chain. So I'm going to add the chain real quick. Maybe. Almost got it. Okay. So now, maybe this broke off. I think that should be on now. Yep. It's on. Okay. Now, the bar at the bottom, right here, should stay the same angle all the way up. See, it's staying the same angle. That's the benefit of the six, or the, not the six bar, the chain bar. So you can attach your hopper to that bar, and your intake will stay the same angle it is all the way up and down.